Hi YouTube, Fan Prepper here. I've given a few movie reviews in the past and they've always been uh, zombie movies. So uh, this is sort of going to be in that vein. At least it was supposed to be in that vein uh, along the zombie genre. When I uh, watched the film, I was led to believe that the movie Gallo Walkers, this is a movie review for the movie Gallo Walkers starring Wesley Snipes, was a zombie film. Now, I guess in the loosest interpretation of the word, you could call it a zombie film, but it really has nothing to do with zombies. There are um, dead people that come back to life, but it really is not a zombie film at all. That having been said, uh, I went into this film expecting that it was going to stink on toast. I am not a fan of Wesley Snipes. I don't think Wesley Snipes does uh, in most of his movies are, are any good. Uh, and I expected this would be a low budget, kind of a bomb, terrible movie. I was very pleasantly surprised with this film. Uh, Gallo Walkers stars Wesley Snipes, as I've already said, and he plays a guy who is kind of cast out by his mom as a, as a child, taken in by uh, like a kind of a gypsy lady, I guess, uh, who has a beautiful daughter. Wesley Snipes falls in love with the daughter. Um, you get this kind of backstory as you go through it. And uh, Wesley Snipes goes somewhere, and while he's gone, the daughter is... Uh, becomes a victim of, of some uh, some stuff, and, and she dies giving birth as a result of this whole mess, and Wesley Snipes goes to get revenge, and he kills the people, but in the process, as he's riding off, he is killed, and uh, the gypsy woman loves him and makes a deal with some sort of servant or demon or something of the underworld who says, listen, I'll bring him back, but the deal is I'm also going to bring back everybody he killed. So the entire movie is Wesley Snipes uh, in pursuit of these people that he had killed once, and he realizes that um, when he kills them, they come back, so he has to kill them, um, well, you know, kind of in a zombie-ish way. He has to take their uh, heads off, is, is what he does. Um, so uh, he, he recruits a young guy, he saves him from the gallows, and uh, recruits him as his helper. And it's, it's actually, I mean, I, it's much better, actually, than I'm making it sound. Uh, it was not the best film I've ever seen, not even close. I mean, it wouldn't, it's not up there with Dawn of the Dead, either version, or Night of the Living Dead, or anything like that, because uh, I'm going to keep it in the zombie genre, because that's what it was. Uh, that's what they told me it was when I looked it up. But um, it's not really bad. I mean, it, it honestly is um, It's very unique. It's set in the Old West. Uh, it's, it's just a kind of a neat idea. It's, it's pretty well done for what it is. I would probably give it uh, a B minus or a C plus, you know, on a grade scale. It was not a terrible movie at all, and and uh, you know maybe it's because I was expecting so little from it that I enjoyed the movie. But I actually I really did enjoy it. So uh, if you like zombie movies or gunfighter movies or uh, you know anything like that, check out Wesley Snipes uh, in the Gala Walkers. It's on streaming Netflix, and I really I wanted to hate it, but I can't. It's not a bad movie. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, until then, I'm Van Prepper, and I'm at the movies. Wait, no. I'm Van Prepper. Happy shooting.